Holy Chapel service will start in... before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into the courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. He's merciful. He's everlasting. He's truth and doeth to all generations. May the Lord have a blessing in the reading of his holy word. ever before.
Only because grace and mercy. Mercy say that we should have been gone a long time ago for some of the things that we done said, some of the things that we done done, some of the things that we have said, talked about people, but only because of grace, your mercy, we're still here. And for that, God, we want to say we thank you. Father, we come today, we come this afternoon because you said in your word just the other day, let them stay here for a little while longer. And for that, Father, we're going to say we thank you. Thank you for the gathering today, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the service because, Master, one more time again, we're here serving you. Father, we don't know how long, how long we're going to be here, but today we're going to say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for the day. Thank you for last night. Thank you for tomorrow because tomorrow is not proper. So, Father, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being so good to us. Father, you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Only because you loved us so. Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Just thank you for blessing us right now. We're going to thank you now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, let us all say amen, amen, and amen. What? Woke up this morning with my mind, yes, Lord, stayed on Jesus. Oh, I woke up this morning with my mind, yeah, Lord.
Let the church say amen. amen. Can you say it again? Amen. We thank God for another opportunity to come and praise his holy name. It's a jubilee. It's a praise service. And we thank God for you who have come, who you who are visiting, you who are going to be a part of the program. We're just going to let go and let God. He can, he, he can take care of the rest. All we have to do is just raise our hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Can you say it again? Lord, I thank you. Can you say it just one more time? Lord, I thank you. We thank God and we're, not, we're going to go on with our program. And certainly the ministerial staff is, is here and just so glad to be a part of their number. For God is blessing this church. He's blessing us, and he's blessing you. So I'm, without any further ado, I'm, I'm going to ask the missus of ceremony, Sister Lashanta Young, as, uh, her, as he comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know you guys don't see me up in the front. Um, Reverend Sister Calhoun asked me to be the mistress of ceremony this afternoon. Thank you, Sister Reverend Calhoun. And I'm not a person who speaks in front of people. I love to sing. Not saying that I'm the best singer, but as long as I'm singing for God, it's all right. It's been a long time since we've had a 3 p.m. service. So I just ask that you guys help us raise the roof in this place because you, you may not know this may be your last time. So you need to praise God while you can. So I'm going to try to shake my nerves off. But first, giving honor to God, respect to Pastor Thomas, to the ministers in the pulpit, and you, the waiting congregation. Whew, my nerves, my nerves, my nerves. We bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name, your name, we We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Your name. We bless your
lost my voice singing this very song. And it is coming back, but as long as I can utter the words out, God, I'm, I'm all right. God's all right with me. It doesn't matter if I hit the right note, another note, but I'm singing in the name of Jesus. And I know he's going to continue to bless me. And I'm just so glad that you guys decided to come out at this 3 o'clock service. And we're going to get it started. I have the, the, the privilege of introducing this, this next person, my favorite pastor. The Reverend Dr. George L. Thomas. And I was told to let you know that you can sing as many songs as you want to. <laughs> now that's what I was told. <laughs> I'm just I'm just following instructions. So, Pastor Dr. George L. Thomas, please come to the stage. God bless you. Let the church say amen. amen. Let us say amen again. Amen. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. And I'd like to certainly give him the honor and the praise for his enabling us to enter in one more time. I also want to give thanks to the ministerial staff who had the vision to sponsor this program and to our illustrious MC that has the tendency to believe what everybody says. Amen. 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 But I'm happy to be able to contribute myself. Yes. Now I probably would have like to have been at another part of the service because I was enjoying where I was. But be that as it is, I I have a song on my on the altar of my heart that it's one of my favorite songs and I I don't know that I do all that well trying to present it. But I believe that with God's grace and your prayers, anything is possible. Do I have a witness? Amazing grace will always My song of praise, for it was grace that bore my, my liberty. I do not know. Just how God came to love me so. He looked beyond all of my faults and saw. My need. I believe I like to say that one more time. Amazing grace will always be my my song of praise. Oh, 
It was grace then for my my liberty. I, I do not know just how God came to love me so. But he looked beyond all of my thoughts. And he saw God saw my knees. I shall forever lift mine eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous that grace that caught my falling soul. He looked beyond all of my fault. I wish I had a witness. God saw, God saw my need. Oh, well, this is where it get a little tough. I shall go ever lift my eyes to Calvary. Pastor Thomas. And now we will have a selection by the men in blue, the Holy Chapel male chorus.
looked at my hands and they look new. I looked at my feet and they did too. You ought to run and tell that. Sister Diane Craver. Well, you know, after LaShawn's got up here and 
blessed us with her song. I'm like, well, that's welcome right there. I could have just sat in my seat. <laughs> but glory to God. Thank you. Okay. So, again, good afternoon. And a warm welcome to everyone who has joined us this afternoon for our ministerial staff summer jubilee. What an amazing day and a wonderful opportunity for us to come together to share in this musical fellowship and praise. We at Holy Chapel welcome you, our guest, with open arms, a warm smile, and we hope you enjoy the fellowship and praise through songs. We not only welcome you today, but you are welcome to fellowship with us on any Sunday. We love you, and there's not a thing in the world you could do about it. Thank you, Sister Diane. I, I thought about that when I sang that song, and I said, well, we welcome them. Well, you can never be welcome too much. So now, we're going to have a solo by this lovely person. I just, I love her. And she can sing. And I'm sure if you pray with her and pray for her, she going to sing. Sister Deborah Johnson. Praises to God, who's the head of my life, to Pastor Thomas, to all the ministers, to my sister, Sister Gloria. Um, it's always emotional for me when I come here because my dad was a member of this church for many years, Sam Joyner, and I miss that man so much. But it's always a blessing to come here. And I just ask that you just pray for me. I've been going through a lot, but I thank God for him being in my life. That no matter what I go through, he always say, Deborah, I got you. And I always say people look at the outside of a person. You know, hair is on point and you try to stay decent, but they never know what's going on in your heart. They never know the pain that you go through, you know, and what it takes for you to just get to this point. So I'm just asking that you just pray for me because you don't know my story. All the things that I've been through, you can't feel my pain, what I had to go through just to get right here. You'll never understand my praise. Don't try to figure it out because my worship, my worship, is for real. Pray for me. You don't know my story, all the things that I've been through, and you can feel my pain. What I had to go through just to get right here. You'll never understand my praise. So don't try to figure it out. Because my worship, hallelujah, my worship is for real yes because my worship my worship is for real oh you don't know my story all the things that I have been through And you can't feel my pain What I had to go through 
today just to get right here. You'll never understand my praise. So don't try to figure me out. Because my worship, hallelujah, my worship is for real. Oh, because my worship, my worship is for real. I've been through too much not to worship him. Jesus, because my worship, my worship is for real. Lord, I love you. Lord, I praise you because my worship, my worship is for real. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because my worship, my worship is for real. Lord, I love you. Lord, I praise you. Because my worship, my worship is for real. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Because my worship, my worship is for real lord i praise you lord i praise you because my worship my worship i've been through too much not to worship him oh i've been through too much Worship him. You don't know all I've been through. I've been through too much. I gotta give him the glory. I gotta give him the praise. I, oh, oh, I've been through too much. Not to worship. Him. He done had my back. My back was against the wall. But I've been through too much now to worship him. She's been through too much not to worship. She's been through too much not to worship. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Woo. I've been through too much. Woo. Thank you, Lord.
too much not to worship. We can hold our hands up. We can clap our hands. We can praise the Lord, sing hallelujah. response from a visitor. I know we have some visitors. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. At this time, we'll have a selection by the Holy Chapel Senior Choir. Am I reading that right? Yes. Holy Chapel Senior Choir. Thank you. 
his hands, in his hands, in his hands. giving all reverence to God from whom all blessings flow. To the great pastor of this church, Pastor Thomas, to Pastor Hollinus, Reverend Farr, Minister Mike Hollinus, Reverend Eddie Lane, Sister Deborah Lane and her sisters, to all the ministers, evangelists in the audience today we say hello. And to young Timmy on you too. You know, sometimes we think we have a lot of friends, but we really don't. Because when we need them, sometimes they are not there. But I know I have a friend on whom I can always depend. And his name is Jesus. I have a friend, his name is Jesus, oh yes I do, he is always there to hear, oh yes, all about my trials, my tribulations, yes. Whenever I need him, he's always near. All I gotta do is just take it to the Lord in prayer. Just take it, take it. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take everything. Take everything to God in prayer. Jesus knows about our weakness oh yes he does so he's always there to bear oh yes listen when our burdens our burdens they get so heavy yes we can take them to him to him in prayer all you gotta do is just Thank you to the Lord in prayer Just take it, take it Thank you to the Lord in prayer Take everything Take everything to God In prayer In prayer In prayer Oh, you ought to Take it When you're burdened Take it And you're in despair Take it Just give it to Him
Lord in prayer. You won't feel no ways tired. You won't feel no ways tired. Come on, Shonda. One more time. I'm gonna follow Jesus and I won't I won't 
I won't turn back. I won't turn back. 
to the Lord in prayer. And then they said, I don't feel no ways tired. And I said, I won't turn back. I won't turn back. No, no, no. I won't turn back. All right. Thank you, God, to let. I won't turn back. Things go your way or they don't go your way, I won't turn back. No, no, no. I won't turn back. So my, my time has come to an end, but we have a solo by Sister Shannon Timmons. So if she could come up, please. Let's give her a hand as she comes up. to say
is discipleship time, so I will turn it over to the pulpit. And thank you guys again for letting me be your MC. Haven't we had a wonderful time? All of this talent and God's, God's gift, look at all of this. But God. But God. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. What a time. What a time. What a time. The Spirit is in this place. God's presence is here. But now it's a decision making time. I can see why my sister said, I can't turn back. He's brought me too far to turn back now. And if you haven't met this Savior, I tell you, he's a friend to the friendless. If you haven't met him, he says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Would you stand with me now? The doors of the church are open. They were opened over 2,000 years ago. And Jesus has said that the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. You could come as a candidate for baptism. You could come on Christian experience. 
or a letter from another church. But the main we thing is that you come. Because he's promised you and he's told you this. He says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the light. No man can get to the Father unless they come by me. Won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? What a blessing. What a fellowship. God is good. And he's all the time. Porter, God bless you. If you didn't know what a jubilee was, you was just in one. Yeah. Amen. On behalf of the Holy Chapel class of clergy, the Reverend Gloria Calhoun, Pastor William German, who's not with us, uh, Reverend Ralph Prince, and myself, Archie Porter. We thank you for coming. This has been so wonderful. As I listened to everything and I thought back about what a jubilee really is. You know, it goes way back in the Hebrew history. Well, every seven years, the farmers wouldn't plant the crops. They didn't leave the ground south. They wouldn't till the ground. But the other thing they would do was they would free the slaves. Amen? And, 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 and it was a celebration each time. And then after seven cycles of that, after seven years of when they, they would have a golden jubilee, which is seven time steps. Seven years of seven year cycle. And that would be a golden jubilee. They would really celebrate. And so we in turn really celebrate here this afternoon. Amen. There's many people that I need to thank. And I can't remember them all on my head. So I'm gonna have to read a little bit out. Will you bear with me? First off, we wanna we first off we wanna thank uh, 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 Reverend Gloria Calhoun who spearheaded and did most of the planning. Her name doesn't show up on here, but she did put all of this together Amen. with very little help. Amen? <laughs> so we want to thank our deacons for the devotion. We want to thank our mistress of ceremony, Sister LaShanta Young. Amen. You know, we always like to hear our pastor sing. Amen? Amen. He can preach. He can teach. And he can sing. Amen? Amen. We want to thank the Holy Chapel male chorus. Yes. Yes. Sister Diane Craver for the welcome. Sister Deborah Johnson, who sang Been Through So Much and Touched Us So Much with that song. The lady in the pretty green suit. <laughs> Amen. Uh, 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 that made the response to the, to the welcome. And then got up there and sang like I never heard nobody say. Amen. Holy Chapel Senior Choir. Even the deacons for working on the offering. The Holy Chapel Combined Choir. They always sing well. And then didn't didn't Sister Young touch us with her rendition of Amen, I on the sparrow. God's Elect quartet one more time. Yeah. What? Now, I don't know what to say about Sister Shannon Timmons. She was singing so beautifully, and then I stood up to see if it was a man singing. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. and Ralph Prince, our pulpit manager for this afternoon. I, we thank you for coming. 
On behalf of the Holy Chapel Ministerial staff and our pastor, Dr. George L. Thomas, we thank you for your participation in this endeavor. God bless all of you. God bless you. Let the church say amen. amen. Let me ask you a question. Didn't you enjoy yourself today? We had a good time in the spirit of the Lord. I want to thank you, all of our guests that came out. I'd like to thank you personally. It meant much to us. We're just getting back in the groove of trying to get out here in afternoon services and what have you. But it sure was good trying to get it adjusted with you in the house. Now, I, I, I thank God for Reverend Sister Gloria Calhoun who put this together. I want to give a shout out to my friend, Sister Deborah Johnson over there, who did such a beautiful job. Uh, she got it honestly. I remember when her father used to sing in the senior choir, and he sung a song, Two Wings. And everybody that was here still remember that song and how he would sing that song, Two Wings, and I'll fly away. <laughs> world can't do me no harm. I, I, I want to thank uh, Sister uh, Lashanta Young and, and, and whoever it was uh, that put me at the top of the program for the first song. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't have to come behind Sister Timmons and some of the others. I was in a good spot. <laughs> Let the church say amen. May God bless each of you. Let us stand. Now unto him to keep you from falling, to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God be the glory, the majesty, now and forever. <laughs>